my name is Abby, and I have a mug. All the cool booktube people seem to always have mugs, so I thought I'd give it a try. Today I'm going to be reviewing Champion, the third book in the Legend trilogy that was written by Marie Lu. It just came out this Tuesday, and I will tell you that this book has gotten me through this week. This week has been crazy and um, lots of emotions. <laughs> lots of emotions were poured into me reading this book so I'm glad I had a book like this this week. Um, so yes, let us get into talking about this wonderful conclusion to this awesome trilogy. So basically I didn't do reviews for the last two books because I read them before I started doing book reviews. So basically it follows two POVs. Um, one is June who is like a prodigy in this republic which is one half of America that is basically split off and she was like a brilliant military strategist, um, just super awesome and really cool, like Katniss and Maxima Ride and Triss, like times ten. Like she's awesome. And then Day, who is all equally amazing and awesome and super cool. And you're following these two, but he is like kind of like a straight rat and like he's like fighting he was fighting against the Republic, um, in his own way throughout the books and um legend started out with her um june's brother being killed and her hunting after day and that basically started a spiral of events that led up to champion since this is the third book in a series if you have not read the first two legend and prodigy i'm gonna ask you to leave now because i'm just gonna spoil you all over the place so Come back when you have read the book and we shall discuss, so see you later. Hey, this. I cannot tell you how gun-shy I went into reading this book because I had just finished reading Allegiant, uh, like, last week. That was the last book I had finished. With it ending like that and the fact that we know that Day is dying at the beginning of the book from the last book, I was like, oh, no, not again. Not again. And, like, even at the end, like, you know that scene when he's, like, dying, like, after he got shot, you see his mom, I'm like, no, 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 this is Triss all over again, this is not okay, um, yeah. I need to start recording myself when I am at the end of a book because I get very vocal and it's quite hilarious to watch my reactions. So uh, I'll try and do that sometime. But like I get funny looks from my mom and stuff. But uh, it was so stressful at the end of this book. Get ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about um, some of the characters in the book. Thomas. There were points started to feel bad for him, and when he died. I was like, okay, I'm glad that they gave him a good death. I wanted, I didn't want him to die by, like, a firing squad. Because, like, the thing is, he was really loyal, and, like, there's some attributes in that, but, like, it's just, I never really liked him that much, so I was like, whatever. You killed Matthias, and it's, I did not like, that scene when they were, when he was explaining to Triss, and uh, not Triss, Ah, to June about um him killing him. It was I was just like, just go, go away, go go die. So I was okay with his Ian. Oh my gosh, I love this character so much. He's so sweet and like the stereotypical little brother, like like that we've been looking for. I've been waiting for this Eden to come. He made fun of Day in that one chapter, and like he's like, Day thinks you're hot and stuff. No, Daniel thinks you're hot. Oh, I died laughing. It was so funny, and it made me happy one who's expecting him to die at the end of the book. I mean, like, I was really scared. I was thought it was like, we're gonna pull Mockingjay and kill off little sibling and stuff that, like, kind of caused, like, a lot of things to happen. So, I, I was really terrified that he was gonna be the one to go. So, when the, the two of the prisoners escaped, Captain Jameson and um, Thomas, I was like, okay, somebody's gonna try and kill either June or Day, and I was glad that it wasn't Thomas, because they gave him a good death, and I was like, that last fight between, um, the captain and June, I was like, 
That was a really good fight. I love it when authors are able to write good fight scenes because, like, that's something that I connect strongly to because I love doing stage combat and it's my favorite thing to write. Like, I love writing fight sequences and when an author's able to pull them off that well, it makes me really happy. And I thought that was good. That was a really good scene. Tess! Tess is, Tess is still around. I love it that... Th okay. There are some points when I'm, like, okay with, like, a main character getting killed, but after Allegiant, I was praying that, like, our four, like, main, or five, that Day, Triss, mm, Day, June, um, a Andin, and Eden, and Tess would make it to the end. I was like, okay, just, could this just be one of those books that, like, none of the characters that we care about, like, really care about die, please? And I'm glad that she made it. And, and, like, I had a, f I was like, when she got sick, I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of saw that coming, because I was like, she's been in the area where the plague was released, and I, was, I thought that, I was, I, that was a good twist. I, I was very scared for her for a while. Antarctica is so cool! I wish that they would actually do that. I mean, like, the, the point system that they had, like, I thought that was so cool. And, um, like, the fact that, like, the higher level they go up, the better job they get, the better life they get, the more, um, famous they are. I thought that was so cool. And a really neat concept. I really, I love Marie Lu's writing style and her brain. She has a very smart brain for coming up with, like, she's fantastic at world building, and, um, just throughout this whole series, it's just, like, she hasn't let us down with the world building. I, I think she's brilliant. Whenever there's a chancellor in a book, I have a really hard time not picturing, picturing that character as, um, Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. I, I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but I have a really hard time not picturing that character. So that's my only thought on him right now, because I, I, I didn't like him at all. Okay, let's talk about the last, like, 40 pages. Um, I was having a mental breakdown reading that. Um, I saw, like, when she's, like, about to shoot Day, I was like, no, 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 and then she shot him, and then she shot him again, and he got hit, and I was like, no, 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 June, go kill her, go kill her, because she's a jerk and she killed Day, and, like, this scene, I, I, like, I swear, she, like, took it, like, it's like she knew that all the Divergent fans, that, that like, Marie and Lou knew that all the Divergent fans are going to be, like, super gun-shy about reading that scene, so she's like, I'm going to write something like it that's going to make you think that I'm going to kill Day and stuff, and then uh, he's going to be alive and be out for five months and then not remember anything. And then you're going to start crying all over again because, like, you're like, oh, yeah, he's alive. And then you're like, no, he's not because he doesn't remember June. And you're like, mm -hmm. yeah, I was really stressed out. The 10 years later thing, um, I like how they went through the birthdays. I feel so bad for Andon. I really think he does love June. And it's really, it's really upsetting that he couldn't catch a break. And, um, yeah, I liked his character a lot. Uh, I like how, um, it, it made me sad when she went to her grave, her 27th birthday, she went to Matthias's grave, and, um, that, that was really, like, kind of, like, heart take out and, like, just chuck it across the room. Yeah, that's how I felt. The ending? I have mixed feelings about it. I finished reading this book about an hour ago, um, filming this. Um, I was in tears, first of all, um, I, I, I was a mess, and, um, just, <sighs> she ended it the way I wanted it to go, just with not as much closure, I guess. I guess I just wanted more closure. She left it kind of open, and I, I'm, okay, I'm kind of okay with that, in other ways I'm not, because I'm like, I, I want you to click, I want you to, like, Remember her! Remember her and love her! But, um, yeah. I, she did... The way that she went with the plot, I think she ended it the way that she could have. And it, it was a beautiful ending. It Her writing is awesome. 
And I can imagine this being a movie, and if they do make it in the movie, and they don't use those last two lines exactly how they are written in the book, I'm going to be very upset, because those lines are perfect. Okay, so what did you guys think about the book? Did you think it was as awesome as I thought it did? I'm gonna give it four out of five stars, um, on my little rating scale of books. Um, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I still like the Divergent series better, just because, like, I, I connected with it more emotionally, but with the, um, Legend series, I felt more closure, I guess, um, at the end. I mean, I didn't get all the closure I wanted, but I felt better about it than I did when I finished Allegiant, and, um, it, it, it's up there with, um, it's in my top ten right now, and I, I will recommend it to anybody who needs a book to read. If you enjoyed Hunger Games or Divergent or anything else, um, and you know people who like those kinds of books, you need to recommend it to every single one of your friends. Comment below with what you thought. Um, if you have anything that you think I should pick up and read, let me know below there too. I am also going to be linking a book tag that I made. Um, it's a dystopian book tag. It will be in the link below and um, I hope that you will pick it up and enjoy watching that and um, maybe do the tag yourself. Um, if you like Hunger Games or any of those series, uh, you will enjoy the, doing the tag. So I will see you next time and happy reading! Oh, this tastes good. Mysterious liquid you will never.